here with part four of our tetrachord series. I hope you're figuring out now that tetrachords are pretty powerful. It uses the technique of chunking. So there are only five tetrachords, and we're going to see the next three. So we've got the Phrygian one, which is half whole whole. And then we've got the um, Lydian one, which is whole whole whole. Now the Lydian one technically spans a little bit more than a tetrachord because it kind of goes over. And then to make up for the Lydian one, we have what's called the alt one. And it is half whole half. So you can see that the Lydian and the alt, uh, the Lydian is a little bit long and the alt is a little bit short. Now, how about if you make those tetrachords right now, color them and make two of each. This is the Lydian, whole, whole, whole. Here we go up, see the whole, that's a whole. And now we're gonna come back down. And you can start this on any note, of course. So you need to find those all over like you did with the others. Here's the Phrygian, half, whole, whole. Here it goes, there's the half, whole, whole. Here it is coming down. And you can start the Phrygian on any note. Now with four tetrachords, we can make a lot more scales. This one is called the Lydian scale. It's the Lydian tetrachord followed by our old friend Ionian. But note, since the Lydian is long, there's only a half step between the tetrachords. Okay, I'm going to come down and point that out. The first four notes are the top tetrachord, Ionian. There's the half step between them and down to the F, which is, this is an F Lydian. The next one is Phrygian. It's two Phrygians with a whole step between them. There's the half step First tetrachord, whole step, half whole whole, coming down, and you can start the Phrygian on any note as you can with all of these scales. The next one is Aeolian. It's a Dorian followed by a Phrygian. There's the Dorian. There's the Phrygian, and there's a whole step between those two. Here it comes down. There's the top tetrachord, and the whole step between them, and we're on the Dorian again. Okay, this next one, notice how it overlaps? That's because we're using the Lydian tetrachord, which is long. So to make it come out right, we have to overlap because there is a half step between pretty much anything that uses the Lydian. Excuse me, yeah, the Lydian. There's the half step. There's the Lydian, which is the top of this scale. Now that's the Phrygian coming on down you have all the tetrachords now so you are an empowered being you can put these tetrachords together in the ways that we have shown you to make a whole bunch of scales more than you'd ever want and next time we're going to start talking about how to use these scales therefore the tetrachords uh, along with uh, chords like you might read in a chord chart and why tetrachords make it so much easier to make scales and solos. Okay, well, I'll see you next week.